the only thing that is constant in life is change so your partner will keep on evolving and it's not like oh he was lying or oh, this no way is no it's just an improvement or an enhancement of hidden characters that were there that's why somebody said that or people will say that if your boyfriend beats you now don't marry him run i have to do a video on that because that beating is going to enhance it's going to aggravate you my except the holy ghost <laughs> comes in and takes over the situation hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you for stopping by once again if this is your first time here my name is judita so let's jump straight into this video in today's video i want to share with you guys a couple of lessons that i've learned from being married for four years so if you have been on my channel for if you have been on this channel for a while now you know that i got married when i was 21 and of course it is expected that from that time up until now that's four years i would have learned a couple of lessons a lot of lessons actually as regards to marriage but i'm going to share with you guys just a few of those lessons just so i don't chop up all your time so the first lesson that i'm going to talk about is the fact that i have learned that marriage is a give and take arena like when you're in a union with somebody it is only expected like it's something that you would know naturally without being in marriage for four five six years but it just dawned on me and it is so real when you're in marriage you realize that you have to give and then you take there's no way that you just keep on expecting keep on sucking from your partner and the thing is if you keep on expecting and keep on taking without giving back at some point you're going to suck your partner dry and when you go back to suck, suck some more out because you've sucked them dry there's nothing else that you're going to be able to get from them and you'll start complaining meanwhile you were not putting in back from the source that you were taking out from so i've learned that marriage is a give and take situation you have to give and then you take it's like yeah it's a teamwork kind of thing so it's a give and take situation and you guys when we just got married i used to feel like my husband gives me all the time just because he is the one who has and i felt like oh i don't give him because i don't have but i realized that giving is not just in terms of material things you can give there can be someone who gives a lot more material but then there's someone who, who gives a lot more of their time their attention their listening yeah like just being thoughtful in different circumstances Will make your partner feel good so if you just got married and i'm speaking to young girls my age like if you if you've gotten married at the age of right now i'm 25 if you've gotten married and i'm more mature i'm older i'm wiser but if you've gotten married and you're like 20 21 22 23 which is the trend that is happening now i don't know why but if you're at that age and you're married you or you just got married you should know that even if you are not because in most cases you find that the man is the one working and maybe the girl just graduated like in my case and she doesn't have a job she's not yet making money so if you find yourself in this situation don't feel like you can't offer something you can you can offer your time you can you can find out what what's your partner's job what do they do if you're not yet working you can work with them as in you can go online and search for maybe a job opportunity for your partner or even for yourself you can find out um, something related to his work like help him just advise him you can give a lot even if you do not have finances yet that's just the point I'm trying to pass Le the second lesson that I have learned being married for four years is the fact that marriage is a teacher student relationship marriage is a teacher student relationship when you're married to somebody you have to constantly learn about that person you have to constantly understand the change in their mindset you have to grow alongside them and then you have to be willing to teach them about yourself you have to let them in let them know what it is you like how it is you like it um just let them rediscover you per time i believe that change is the only constant thing in life the person i met and married to four years back is not the same person i am living with right now and that's not to say that he has transformed that's just to say he has improved on the characteristics that he had then and he's become better and so i feel like i need to rediscover this new man and he needs to rediscover this new woman when he met me i didn't know i was going to ever be a youtuber i didn't know i mean a lot of things about myself i was really young and for his own case i feel like there's a lot of learning that he has to do because i've evolved like i was 21 when we got married i'm 25 now four years apart there's a lot of difference and a lot of things are changing and i'm at that phase where i'm maturing more so there's a lot of learning that he has to do but then there's a lot of learning that i have to do at the same time so yeah I think that in a marriage you have to be willing to teach and you have to be willing to learn that's why i say a marriage is a teacher student relationship for life like you never stop learning in life so your partner is going to continuously keep evolving the only thing that is constant in life is change so your partner will keep on evolving and it's not like oh he was lying or oh, this no way is no it's just an improvement or an enhancement of 
hidden character star with there. That's why somebody said that, or people will say that if your boyfriend beats you now, don't marry him, run. I have to do a video on that because that beating is going to enhance, it's going to aggravate you, my except the Holy Ghost <laughs> comes in and takes over the situation. Yeah, so that's the second point that I had to share with you guys on things that I have learned, on lessons I have learned being married for four years. Another lesson, another lesson that I have learned, a very important lesson that I have learned being married for four years is the fact that love is not a feeling. I repeat, should I add volume? Love is not a feeling, like seriously. In, when you have lived with somebody for so long, you discover the person's faults. You discover a lot of things that you didn't know about this person when you put a date in. Even if you put dates for like, let's say 10 years, you will know a lot about this person, yeah? But when you put live under the same roof, it's different. You put in, your, in each other's faces all the time. You will discover so many negatives, so many positives. And my goodness, a lot, a lot of times you would have to love because it is a request from God like if you're united with somebody as husband and wife it is a command love your husband love your wife so you have to love your partner it is more for me right now love is more of a decision it's more of and I, I think I've learned that more from my husband because he has shown me on so many occasions that love is not a feeling it's a decision like he has decided to love me like okay even when we we disagree on something and then maybe he leaves the house and we are still disagreeing on that thing and he goes out there and sees a pair of shoes that he knows I like he will still buy that pair of shoes for me in spite of that disagreement but for me instead if I if that kind of situation happened the me before not the me that has learned this lesson now I will go out and if I see something I had to do for him I'm just like ah, I'm angry at him I'll not do it but ever since I realized that love is a decision I know that it is required of me I have to do it so I bring myself to do things for him with him even when I am upset or when I do not agree with certain decisions that he has made or that we have <laughs> jointly made yeah so love is not a feeling it's not but to fly in your stomach I mean it comes it will come once in a while but when you're just in a relationship like dating boyfriend girlfriend or fiance it comes more often that butterfly the fact that you are not always together you are not in the same house you want to see each other more often and the butterflies are just in your stomach anyhow they're just doing anyhow in your stomach so yeah i've learned this lesson and it's a very important lesson love is a decision the next lesson that i have learned from being married in four years is the fact that in marriage there's no competition when you're married to somebody that person becomes your partner you guys become one the two are now one so what what is success to your partner is success to you but this is something that i think i realized in like second or third year of being married because the first year the first year of being married was a mess for me no i shouldn't say it was a mess because it was actually full of a lot of happy moments achievements but i feel like i was always like it didn't sink in like you are married it didn't sink in in that first year there were a lot of times when i felt like oh is this the right decision oh am i in am i out oh like i was always i just feel like a lot of people say that the first year of marriage is always really difficult and i think that 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 was just so true for me the first year of marriage was not the easiest especially the first like six months then i think in the last six months of the first year i started getting myself into it i started feeling okay and i started accepting the fact that okay this is your new life and you're married and now you're a married woman you have responsibilities and you have to take those responsibilities boldly so yeah but then there was something that always happened my husband is a really what word should i use he's an ambitious person and he's very hard working and so he's always out there trying to achieve something i am too but then the situation in which we found ourselves we needed to work like a team and I needed to understand that, okay, he has to do this now. He has to achieve all this now. He's at a point where, like, he's getting to the peak where his things are, are blossoming and everything that he had been working so hard for is paying off. So he needs to put in more time into it. And then I need to take the back seat, yes. But I wasn't getting that. Like, I was feeling like, oh, I need, I need to just keep going. I need to just do this. I need to do that. I need to get that. And the funny thing is, the moment I took like rest and said okay let's think about it now how do we do it that is beneficial for you and beneficial for me and for the kids and then we still forge ahead the moment i i just let myself rest and started reasoning it out that way a lot of things started working for me new things things that i never thought i could be doing and all of that so i feel like it took me a while to realize that this man is my partner i i don't have to look at him i i felt i felt the need to do a lot when he was doing a lot you, get, you guys get like I felt like oh I'm just sitting in the house he's doing everything why can I not support him in terms of finances why can I not do this why I asked a lot of those questions but then I realized that the work that I'm doing 
pushes him the work that i'm doing behind it helps him in front like you might not be able to just clearly say that oh this woman is doing this work but then i know and i give myself a pat on the back okay so yeah it took a while for that to happen it took a while for me to just accept that we are we are a partner and if he's he's forging his education or he's getting projects or he's traveling it is our win it is for us so I, w I wasn't looking at it that way it was really hard for me to see it that way because i felt like oh he's traveling and i'm here in the house so it doesn't it's not our win it's his win he's the one exploiting the world he's the one doing this and i wasn't looking at it critically and yeah i think that was also making him feel really bad and i was really pushing his hand i was i think i was pushing his hand pushing him to try to think of things that i don't know if they were even achievable for us as a family at that time without maybe having the kids getting hurt or without in short yeah i've spoken a lot about that yeah but right now i know that we are a team and his success is mine my success is his and we are working together onward last lesson i'm going to talk about is the last lesson but it is very very important you guys anybody who knows me knows that i'm very vocal i speak a lot actually i speak a, i used to speak a lot um what should i i speak a lot because i'm still talking now and my channel name is jd speaks <laughs> so i speak a lot but now i think i speak a lot of sense and i speak with a lot of caution i know that words have a lot of impact before i didn't like when there's an issue if we disagree on something there's an idea that we're trying to work on there's something that we're trying to create or we're trying to create a new maybe source of income or something just for our family i'll be very vocal and sometimes i'll just say my mind like i'll say what it is i'm thinking and sometimes you know you can have a good point to pass across but the timing is very important you have to know when to say what to say and how to say it also the words that you use so i feel like before when we just got married i always wanted to address things like la 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 if it's happening now let's talk about it now i'm not giving you no space and the wisdom would tell a woman or a man even that you have to understand your partner know their mindset know when it's time for you to say certain things and when it's time not for, for you not to say those things so i feel like i wasn't really taking that putting that into consideration before but right now i think i've got in my mouth uh, um, my mind my mouth my heart my conscience the fear of god all of it is working together to determine when i speak and when i do not speak so i feel like that's a really good achievement in the past four years and i know that there's a lot more there's a lot of work that is going to come in to me because i'm a work in progress i'm a constant work in progress and i accept that and i'm happy about it because i know that when you accept that oh there's a there's something that needs to work on there's room for growth then growth is going to come so i'm open-minded to that and i'm happy with the progress that i made so far so yeah those are the lessons i've learned i've learned when to speak how to speak the tone to use the words to use um, I've learned um, the fact that we are a team no competition in marriage we are one and we are working together to succeed I've also learned that marriage I've also learned that marriage is a give-and-take arena I have also learned and in short I've just learned a lot of things being married for these four years if you are married what are the lessons you've learned and if you're a young person who has just gotten married or who is about to get married you need to know these things you need to know these things you need to know that your partner is not your competitor you need to know that you have to listen sometimes like sometimes you can give your listening ear you can give your attention you must not give in terms of material i sell valentine's day oh everybody is trying to buy something trying to but apart from this valentine's day gift that you give are you giving your partner what they really need the attention the love the care the sacrifice the respect and all of that so yeah i think this video is done <laughs> thank you guys for watching this video and i hope you guys have learned a thing or two see you guys on my next one